today we are going to discuss on ranakur jain temple india is a place of temple and we can see many beautiful historical temple in india temple in india have a significant value not just as a religious point but also their amazing architectural design yes we all know that the many temples in india are 1000 year old but they are exist still exist in their pure form some temples give competition to the scientific theory by their unique design ranakur jain temple is also the great example of amazing ancient architecture so the basic uh, the history of ranakur jain temple is very interesting as the temples and, and ranakur known named after ranakumbha whom dharma saha approached to ask for the land to construct the temples when he had divine visions ranakur jain temple was built in the 15th century in the regions of liberals and gifted king kumbha so this ranakur jain temples is known as one of the largest and most important signs of jain cultures it is said that the granular of this temple attracts more people to itself and this temple is a wonderful example of divinity and architecture the temple campus includes some other temples such as surya temple chamukha temple sparsava natha temple and amba temple so in the initial year many jain temple were made adjoining the buddhist temples following the buddhist rakata style how we are in the later jain started building temple cities on hill based on the concept of mountain of immortality and they approached to deviate from hindu and buddhist site and built on their own an important aspect to be noted is that hindu and buddhist built temple jain built temple cities on hills to put their own words they ornamented these holy hills with a crown of eternal arhat chaityas shining with the splendor of jewel so this is one of the main uh, temples of ranakpur adinatha temples the adinatha temple of ranakpur is also named after dharma vihara temples after its builder the temple is very huge it stand on basement of 60 meters by 62 meters is like a strong hold on the top of flight stairs it is central entrance these are three storied malakhana entrance hall which has stone roof in adinatha temple a large number of columns are present it is and it is said that no two pillars are alike in design it is space that penetrates through the two or three stories various heights of domes are placed and their ceiling have sculpture that are unbelievably intricate this is plan of adinatha jain temples okay okay these are the various part of jain temple you can see our mola prasada and this is garbhagriha and rangamandapa bhadra prasada and mahadhara prasada and devkulia and bhamati this is cluster this is basically uh, this is a plan of adinatha jain temple of ranakpur the central shrine is called mola prasada its interior is garbhagriha sectum is main statue is malyaka in the type of chaturmukha four faced shrine is unlike the case of mount abu there are not gudha mandapa uh, which means a closed hall or tika mandapa trika mandapa this is west blue but the ranga mandapa uh, which means assembly hall in the front of four portals of the main shrine is each ranga mandapa connect with three storied meghanatha meghanatha mandapa which is a big hall in front of having four mandapa 
in addition to these there are two bhadra prasada east and west side making the total compositions much more intricate a line of devkulika small shrine along with bhamati closures surrounded the whole complex at this shrine is hold a statue of tirthankara arjuna four in chaturmukha two in man mahadhara prasada there are more than 100 statue in the total in this total hall so this is overall view of adinatha temple ranakpur this is a jain temple uh, samvarna roof on the top of western mandapa four faced sikhara beyond the courtyard pilar of western meghdhara mandapa it adinath temple ceiling of adinath temple this is again a large view of adinath temple this is another examples of this main temple you can clearly see the intricate design of this temple so after this let's have a small videos for this temple